Hello again, dear colleagues, I'm Alex and I'm back with another Video Tool School episode. This one is a message in a bottle for um, all the new Adder Crohn's users striving to find out what this little red rec button in uh, the Adder Crohn's app is for. I think that uh, by now we all know that this button will not trigger the camera video recording. And because we already know what this button does not do, let's find out what it does. In short, uh, the rec button does trigger a record function, but instead of recording pictures, it records movements or motion decisions. Let's see. First of all, to use this function with the light uh, version of the Edelkron's pan tilt head, meaning uh, two head ones and a tilt kit, you will have to uh, predefine all the keyframes you intend to use in your motion sequence. For a more precise setup, it's uh, good to have at hand a list with the desired speed and ease values for each movement or transition between the keyframes in your script. And if you want your camera to stay still uh, for several seconds during your motion sequence, it's useful to note the number of seconds the camera will not move. Now, having the list at hand, position the camera at the first keyframe of your motion sequence. You set the values of the speed and ease for the first transition. You press the REC button and you press the second keyframe. Quickly change the values of speed and ease. When the counter reaches zero, press the third keyframe. Change the speed. One, two, three, four. Now change the speed again. It's about the ease and now press the last keyframe. press again the REC button. So, as you see, the motion sequence was recorded and now we can repeat it again and again and again. Let's make a test. So, say hello to my beautiful assistant that will be the main character in this uh, short scene. You can repeat uh, this uh, motion sequence again and again and again, frame accurate. Uh, I know that it's maybe not the easiest way to set up a motion uh, sequence, but I'm sure that with a little practice you will be able to remember the speed and ease values and to insert them in a snap. Now, another trick that I use to control the ease values is to uh, use the speed slider as a reference. So, um, if I insert here 70% uh, 
value of speed, it will give me the reference for a 30% of ease. In fact, uh, what I discovered is that um, under 40% of uh, ease, this function has no influence over uh, the time of a transition. Now, how this uh, recording function is different from the camera sequencer? There are several differences. One of them is that uh, using the sequencer, you won't be able to define um, a motion sequence that includes standstill positions of uh, your camera. As you see, I cannot program the same pose or keyframe into a DSN slot just to set a waiting time between them. Okay, another difference is uh, unlike the sequencer, with the record function you cannot set a looping motion sequence. There are other differences in terms of controlling camera trajectory, uh, but uh, in this episode I won't get into those details. The point is that the little red rec uh, button in the Edelkron's application the one that uh, it does not trigger the camera video recording provides a lot, lot more than that. And with this thought, I want to conclude the today's uh, episode. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give me a thumb up. It matters. And uh, subscribe because uh, more episodes are on the way. Thank you for watching. This is the Video Tool School YouTube channel. I'm Alex and until the next time I'm wishing you beautiful, inspired and productive days. Bye bye.